Out of 100% of the human genome, only 2% are functional genes, that makes RNA and then finally codes for protein. This means out of 3 million base pairs of human genome, only 60 million base pairs are genes and rest 2.94 billion base pairs are junk. Are these 2.94 billion base pairs of human genome real junk? Let's dive in and find it out. This 3 billion base pairs are for haploid genome that comes from one parent which is 23 chromosomes only. If we look at total genetic makeup of a human that has 23 pairs of chromosomes, then it will be 6 billion base pairs. The human genome has around 30,000 genes. Every human has two copies of a gene, one copy of gene coming from each parent. The portion of DNA that codes for a protein and has specific function is called coding DNA sequences and the DNA sequences that do not code for any protein are called non-coding sequences. All coding sequences are present within a gene and these coding sequences cover roughly 2% of the human genome. And rest of the 98% of human genome are DNA sequences that do not code for any protein and does not have any function as a gene. Previously, they were considered as junk. However, they are not the real junk DNA. They do not code for any protein, but they do have other functions. These non-coding DNA or junk DNA are involved in the production of non-coding RNAs like transfer RNA, regulatory RNA, and ribosomal RNA. They are involved in the process of protein synthesis. The different types of non-coding DNA would be intron present within a gene, promoter region located just before the coding sequences. Enhancers and repressors elements present within a promoter were also considered as junk DNA. Therefore, these days, the junk DNA are not considered as useless DNA, rather they are important elements in the regulation of gene expression and protein synthesis. This is the interesting topic in human genome looking at junk DNA. Hope you have learned about coding and non-coding DNA sequences. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like to learn more about interesting topics, please let us know through comments. See you in the next video with another interesting topic.